Hello. Today we're going to have a look at adding customized and personalized recommendations to your e-commerce website. We'll start at the Clevu Merchant Center. We'll create a new recommendation for our product detail page. We'll select the recommendation logic of similar products. We'll add a custom title. We'll also select a custom recommendation design based on a carousel. We'll leave our additional settings as is for now and we'll continue to filter products. Here we can create rules that will affect the products that display. We'll create a default rule for all of our products. We can filter products or hide this recommendation based on a condition, but here we're just going to apply some filters. We can include by any available attribute. In this case, we're going to choose brand. And we'll choose the operator that reflects the current brand of the current product detail page. We'll also include by an additional attribute of product gender that also reflects the current value of the current product. We'll include a shoe type that also reflects the current shoe type. This should give us a real good reflection of what is similar in the same brand for that particular item. In a recommendation display, we can preview the results per product to see how we did with our rule sets. When satisfied, save and publish. We can integrate very easily by copying the snippet of code onto our existing website. Let's create an additional recommendation banner. We're going to stay with the product detail page placement. We'll also continue using the similar products display logic. We'll add our custom title. In this case, we're going to choose items that are of different brands, but similar to this product. We'll leave the additional settings as is and move on to filter products where we'll create more rules. Again, we're going to apply these rules to all the other products, and these will only be product filters. In this case, we're going to exclude the brand of the current product detail page. We'll add an additional filter to include other products of the same gender. We'll also include products of the same shoe type. And in this case, We'll also choose to include items that have the same color as the current product on the page. Again, in the Merchant Center preview, we can see what this would look like on a per product basis. We'll save and publish. We will also grab the additional snippet that represents this recommendation to be placed on our website. Let's create one additional recommendation. This one will be for the home page. We'll select the logic trending products for you, which is a personalized recommendation based on the user's browsing behavior. We'll give it a custom title, and we'll again choose the design that matches the other carousels we've placed on the website. This time, we're not going to choose any additional filters, as we want to showcase the personalization. I'll grab the snippet of code and place it on the website. 
Back on the website's product detail page, we can see the recommendation banners we have placed. We can see those that are excluding by brand or filtering to include the brand and similar attributes. As we click around, we can see these products dynamically adapt to the settings that we had configured. And our browsing patterns are reflected on the personalization banner on the homepage. Thank you for watching.